the angle sum theorem. So here we go. Here's our theorem. And we talked a little bit about this yesterday. And it says the sum of the three angles in a triangle sum to or add to 180 degrees. Okay? So I have a triangle here, right? That means that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle T is equal to terribly difficult, isn't it? And that's what we're going to play around with today. Okay? So, find the measure of the missing angle. I know this angle is 40 degrees. This one is 80 degrees. This one I don't know. I'm going to call this X. So, I can say that 40 plus 80 plus X equals 180. That's an equation I could set up. Okay? Um, let's see. 40 and 80 is 120 plus x equals 180, and then I would subtract 120 from both sides. And that tells me that x is equal to what? 60. And is that an angle measure? So it needs to be 60 degrees. Easy peasy? Okay. What do you think I do on the next one? Same thing, okay, so 50 plus 55 plus x plus 83 is equal to 180. So let me add 50, 55, and 83. That gives me 188 plus x equals 180. Subtract 188, and what do I get for x? Negative 8. Is that okay to get a negative x value? As long as the angle itself doesn't become negative. Negative 8 plus 83 is going to remain positive, right? And this one's not an angle measure like that one was. Therefore, x equals negative 8 is a valid answer. Does that make sense? Pretty easy, right? All right, you try number three. See what you can do with number three. All right, help me out. What do I do? So x plus 61 plus 55 plus x plus 86 equals 180. So I have two x's. That's 2x, and then 61 plus 55 plus 86, 202, plus 202 equals 180. Now what? Subtract 202. So 2x equals, what's 180 minus 202? And then divide by 2, so x equals what? Done? No, it says find the measure of angle A. So what do I need to do with that negative 11? Plug it back into here. So negative 11, let me see, measure of angle A is equal to X plus 61. And we're plugging in negative 11 plus 61, which gives us a grand total of positive 50 what? degrees. So measure of angle A is equal to 50 degrees. Okay. Questions there? Fantastic. All right. Interesting here. Find the measure of the missing angle. How many triangles do you see? I see two triangles also. And the missing angle is down here. Now I only know one other angle so I can't just do 180 minus that can I? So let's deal with this triangle for a minute. Can I find out what that third angle is? Yeah. How? 180 minus 43 minus 50, right? Or in other words, 50 plus 43 plus, let's call this X, equals 180. So that's what, 93 
plus x equals 180. If I subtract 93, what's 180 minus 93? 87, 180 minus 93 is 87. So this angle right here is 87 degrees. What, do I el what else do I know? What else kind of relationship do I have going on here? I have vertical angles, which means this angle and this angle are congruent. So if this angle is 87 degrees, guess what? That angle is 87 degrees. Now I know two of the three angles, so I can do it one more time. 87 degrees plus 58 degrees plus x equals 180. 87, 87 plus 58 is 145 plus x equals 180. Subtract 145. Now, I did something that might not be the smartest choice. I get 35, is that a degree measure? Yes. Does anyone know what I'm thinking of when I say it? that might not have been the smartest choice? Yes. No. That would be assuming that these two angles were equal. So here's what I did that's wrong, okay? I called this angle x, that's fine, but that means that this angle is x also, right? If I call this angle x also, I'm technically saying that this angle is congruent to both of those. I should have given this one a different name, like y. So this should have been a y, just to show that it was different than the angle I was looking for up here. Does that make sense? I mean, if you can keep it straight, it's not the end of the world, but if you're actually trying to prove a point, you really want to use different letters to represent different angles. Because every time you use the same angle, or the same letter to represent an angle, you're implying that they are congruent. And obviously 35 degrees is not congruent to 87 degrees. Okay? All right. So, here's an interesting thought. The acute angles of a right triangle are what? Let's think about this for a minute. Here's a right triangle. What do I know about this little box right there? 90 degrees. So think about this for a minute. If the measure of angle J plus the measure of angle K plus the measure of angle L is equal to 180 degrees, and I know that the measure of angle K is 90 degrees, Let's do a little bit of algebra here. Measure of angle J plus 90 degrees plus the measure of angle L is equal to 180 degrees. What can I do? I can subtract the 90 degrees. Yeah? That means the measure of angle J plus the measure of angle L is equal to what? 90 degrees. What do we call two angles that when you add them up, equal 90 degrees. The other C one. Mm -hmm. They are complementary. They have to add up to 90 degrees because the right angle took up that one 90 degree angle. That means there's 90 degrees left to be split up there. Okay, so the measure of angle J plus the measure of angle L is equal to 90 degrees. And that only works in a right triangle. Capiche? Yes. All right, so knowing that, let's do examples five and six. What kind of a triangle do I have here? A right triangle, which means I have a 90 degree angle, I have a 60 degree angle, and I have an unknown angle. So I could do it just like the other ones and set them equal to 180, and I'll get to my answer. Or I could use what I just learned there and know that these two angles have to add up to what? So I could just say x plus 60 has to equal 90. Subtract 60, not 66. And that means x is what? 
30 degrees. I could set all three equal to 180 though and I would still get 30 degrees, right? Because if I subtracted 90 from here, I get 60 plus X equals 9, I get the same equation, okay? All right, so using that, what can I do here to find X? I don't need to find an angle, I just need to solve for X. So what could I set up here? 23 plus X plus 72 equals 90. Now again, you could say plus 90 equals 180 and still get to the answer. But if you remember that the other two angles in a right triangle are complementary, you can make your numbers a little bit smaller. So let's see, X plus, what's 72 plus 23? 95 equals 90. I'm going to subtract 95. And x equals negative 5. Is it okay to have negative there? Yes, because the angle will still be positive. Is this a degree measure, yes or no? No. Okay. Any questions? Pretty easy, right? All right. Happy studying.